Okay, so and the loop stays on no matter what. Um, and then what I'm gonna last what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bass to the strings. So I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna do one. Back to one, back to two, and then I did a seven, and that was it. So that was my chord right there. I'm gonna highlight both of those tracks and bounce them, bounce edit, bam. <laughs> So for that, this is a hip hop R&B type track, and you know what I mean. As long as you got about four to five basic instruments, you're cool. You know. So we got five. We got our arpeggio sound that we have in our synthesizer arpeggio sound. We have a drum. We have drums. And we got three other instruments. Um, Rapture is the uh, the bass line. Um, then we have like a lead sound right there in sin, in sin 2 or sine 2 and then we have dimension is playing the strings Okay So then what I like to do is uh, Let's just put in here what these are so then I go change these this is my loop These two tracks are my drums, so I put drums And that's all you got to do is just highlight them press return go into them and then put the bass I'm going to go down, turn, bass, and all I'm doing is pressing the arrow button and, and enter, and that does it. And then I put right here is my lead, and then lead, and then right here is strings, and then right there is strings, bam. Okay. And then what I like to do is keep everything together, so you can click these and you get a little arrow, up and down arrow icon looking, which means now you can move the track, so I'm moving it down. Um, and then I'm just moving the I'm just moving the audio tracks down. The MIDI tracks are staying up there. Okay, so I'm moving the audio. So there's my audio drums. Here's my audio bass. Here's my audio lead. Here's my audio strings. And so now now you have all these together. You have your MIDI tracks with your sample. This is an audio track, so that goes good with the audio track. And then these audio tracks here. So that's better for mixing, as you'll see in later sections. And so now we're just going to do a basic uh, intro. So um, um, now we're going to build a song. So I'm going to take the loop off right there, loop on and off. Bam. And then we'll highlight all these because now we have eight bar sections. Um, we'll press Control-C for copy and OK. Then you go to where you want it to start, which is you want it to start on the um, ninth bar. Now here's something that's important. You need to click up here, this track because that's where you want all the tracks to paste from. If you click down there, it'll create more tracks. It'll be all over the place. So you need to make sure you're on that track. Um, then you press Control V, and that's going to paste what you want right there, starting at track uh, one, starting at, at bar 9.1, and you press OK, and then bam. And then you, could, then you could highlight all of them again. You can press Control C, OK. You can go here at 17 and you can paste them again. Bam. You press control left arrow. That'll make it a little skinny for you a couple times. Copy the whole thing again. Press control C. Bam. Start at 32. Paste. Control V. Bam. And then right here, you can see it's giving you the time, amount of time that you're on. If you put your cursor there, it says that you've got 208 in your song. Press Control V again. That'll put four more bars, and now you're at three minutes and twelve seconds, which is plenty of room for a song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one more time. Paste Control V, and that should give me almost close to four minutes. Four minutes and fourteen seconds. 
just to the end of the thing. I'm obviously not going to use all that for the song, but we're just creating the song mode right now. Then you can go back and you can create your intro. This is a basic song, so what I'll do is I will, let's see if we, if you highlight one of these sections, these clips, and you press Q, it'll toggle the mute on and off. As you can see, so I'm clicking on. Okay, I don't know how, uh, I don't know where we left off, but <clears throat> I'm running, I keep running out of space here, so. But this is basically the gist of, of the song. We've since now put it in sequence. Um, we have an intro, and we have, I changed the bass a little bit to a different sound, because I liked it a little bit better. It's kind of like an electronic R&B pop joint. Um, it's actually at 120 the speed and um, as you can see each little section some sections are are, are uh, highlighted and some are muted to give me some are taken in and taken out to give you a little bit different effect of how you know they're supposed to be you know produced you just you don't want the whole thing to sound the same the, the whole way through you know but you know so you just want to give it a little bit of a different you know feel um, every time you know what I'm saying? So, so that's what we're doing, you know. We're just giving it a little bit of different feel here and there to try, you know, to just change it up a little bit and, you know, give it some character. That's all we're trying to do. It's just basically give it a little bit of uh, character. So, uh, uh, but that's the basic gist of it. I'm going to skinny this up a little bit and then I'm going to fatten them up. And, and, you know, anything else that comes to mind, I might do, but for sake of time, you know, we're just going to keep it at that. We're not going to do a whole lot. We're just going to keep it, you know, basically at that and, um, and, you know, just go from there. Let's see. I think that's all I wanted. Okay. Just want some places to kind of mute some stuff. Just looking for some, I'm just looking for some places to kind of to kind of mute some stuff you know to kind of change up the um, try to change up the the attitude of of the track a little bit you know to give it some personality so I'm trying to find little spots or whatever to to do that on maybe right here maybe a couple bar maybe a couple beats right there or a couple bars you know, to give it a little bit of a flair, just change it up here and there. But for the most part, it's done. All right. So that's it for that. Um, for that, for that, that concludes that, that section of it. Basically, of making the beat, you know, um, in the song. And uh, if you want to hear, if you want to hear the track itself, you can go to mlifesoul.com. And I'll post it on there for you to listen to the entire track by itself. But now we're going to move on to the next section, which is um, uh, recording. Okay? So, there you go.